Hi everyone, my name is Gary Gumminow and with me today is Travis Polina. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for having me. So Travis and I are here today to showcase for you the Scale It Up tool, which is a new member of the Xeon Processor Advisor tool suite. If you remember, the Xeon Processor Advisor tool suite, which is shown on your screen right now, has several different components. It has the transition guide, which helps you and your customer transition from the previous generation Xeon processor to the current generation of bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. So if your customers were on the E5 and E7 processors, this is a great way for you to help you and your customers figure out which processors they go to in the new Xeon scalable processor family. The TCO tool, which is in the middle here on your screen, is basically a, a tool for you to use for, uh, to help your customers figure out the total cost of ownership and the benefits they'll get from moving to the scalable platform. So we're here today to really showcase and to dive in and to demonstrate for you how you can use this with your customers. So let's jump into it. Let's see what you got. All right, so we'll click here on this Scale It Up tool. Now, the official name for the Scale It Up tool is the Storage and Connectivity Comparison Tool for Intel Xeon Scalable Platforms. Rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it's it? It's a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> but it, we're calling it the Scale It Up tool, and you can find it again on the Xeon Processor at uh, xeonprocessoradvisor.intel.com, or there's an, a URL that we've specified called scaleitup.intel.com. So those are the two places where you can find this tool. The Scale It Up tool has several different components. There's a menu bar at the top which shows different sorts of configurations um, and ways that you can showcase the performance. So if I, if I read the home button gets you back to the Xeon Processor Advisor tool suite. The Scale It Up shows you how to scale up performance within the scalable processor family. Okay. The compare generations will lead you from V4, or the previous version of the Xeon processor platform. The Explore flexibility is, a, is another way that you can show. But in this case, we're going to show you the compare the generations between using the V4 processor, which was the previous generation. So we've got an E5-2699 V4 Xeon processor platform with a SAS hard drive and a 1 gig network connection. And we can look at the performance that we can get from that. So um, the performance measurements we used behind the scenes or what we used for the benchmarking is Microsoft SQL Server and Microsoft Exchange, right? So there's a lots of I.O. and throughput uh, required for those types of solutions. Okay. So I'm going to go here to the Information tab. And on the Information tab is a, another tab that shows the test environment. Right? So for those that want to go out and look at what the test environment is, there is a white paper that's being published by a third party that did all this testing. Uh, so you can go here and look at the server test environment, or you can go read the white paper if you so choose as well. Okay. It gives you all the configuration details Configurations as well. and how you put this test together. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So just to you know, make it real quick here, we've got virtual machines running on clients back here, running, loading, running the load generation, so the Microsoft SQL and the micro, Microsoft Exchange. Then we connected those with different types of networking, 1 gig, 10 gig, and 25 gig networking to our, you know, this is the previous generation platform here. So this is the V4 platform. And then this is the platform that we upgraded. So this is the Intel Xeon scalable platform. So we went everywhere from we went from silver to gold to two levels of platinum processors in that system. And then we also had our uh, storage platforms over here. So we started with a, a SATA based SSD platform, and we moved to uh, SSDs based on NVMe. Okay. So the Intel data center SSDs with NVMe. Okay. So uh, that's sort of the test environment that we okay. used for this. So if we go in here and we look at the uh, compare generations, which is where you'll be looking at it when you go into the tool, it, it, it drops you right into the compare generations. So you can see the performance that we got here. We got 120, almost 126,000 orders per minute, 6,000 email users, and 12 virtual machines, right? So and that's this how- this is a pretty standard configuration from prior generation, right? V4 CPU, uh, a SATA SSD, or SATA spinning disk drive and a one gig Ethernet. That's right? correct, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so uh, let's see what happens when we upgrade all three. 
Okay, so we click on this tab here. So these, these are other tabs here. So as you move around the interface, you can click on different configurations, right? So we've gone from the V4, the previous uh, baseline configuration, to scale up the processor. So in this case, we've scaled up to the 8160, the Platinum 8160, to an NVMe SSD and 10 or slash 25 gig right. Ethernet. Ethernet. Okay. And you can see the performance boost here going from 12 virtual machines to 36. Impressive. Yeah, I mean that's that's three x performance boost. You know that's three hundred percent performance <laughs> improvement. I mean most most customers when they upgrade just from processor generation to processor generation, thirty percent is something that they're looking for. This is a three x improvement. 3X. Yeah. And I see also we did a pretty solid jump in the CPU utilization. Yeah, so we've jumped from what used to be 44% utilization. So you were using only 44% of your Xeon processor. Now you're getting 93% of the, of the processor, right? So you've just really unleashed the performance of that processor, right? What the processor can do. Yeah, so you've upgraded your storage to NVMe, you've upgraded your networking, and you're getting a huge boost and you're getting you're really unleashing the value, right? You want to you want to help your customers get the most out of their hardware. This, this is, is it. This is how you do it. Impressive. So yeah. how how did you do it? Yeah, okay. So before we get there, I want to show you one okay. more one more processor boost. We went from the 8160 to the 8180. And in doing that, we were able to get almost a 4x improvement. Even better. So we, we jumped to 46 virtual machines. We're actually keeping the virtual machine performance consistent across all the VMs. Okay. So when you go and look at the white paper, you'll see that the virtual machine performance is pretty consistent across all of them. There's no smaller one. You know, you could load up hundreds of virtual machines. It's just like connecting 100 USB you know, <laughs> devices together, right? I mean, this is, this is testing the real performance of, of the processor. What real customers will actually see and do. Right, okay. yeah. In, in fact, if they haven't upgraded these components in the past, um, they probably, this is probably going to be uh, really exciting for, for them to see this level of performance. Okay, and then this button over here compares them side by side. So you can see the baseline, upgrading the processor, storage and networking, mm -hmm. and then even upgrading the processor even further. Impressive, okay. okay. Yeah, I mean the 8160 and the 2699 are pretty comparable in terms of their, uh, you know, number of cores, number, uh, amount of cache memory, uh, the configuration of the processors is pretty, pretty comparable pretty, okay. in that case, yeah. So, but you were, you were asking, you were saying I sort of jumped. You, you kind of got to the punchline. How'd you get there? Yeah, well, I got to the punchline because I want to make sure that if you're showing this to your customers that, you, and you only have a few minutes to show, that you can, there's part of the tool that lets you, the compare generation part of the tool, lets you get to the punchline if you don't have a lot of time with your customer. You can okay. quickly show them the, the benefits, right? So it's sort of like a three minute discussion. You can get them there really quickly. You know, we always talk about 3330, you know, 30 seconds, uh, three minutes, and 30 minutes. This is sort of, we're sort of doing maybe a, a 10 minute version of this. Right, so let's 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 look at. In the good, better, best, you went right to best. Exactly. Why not? Right. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So let's look at. Uh, let's see. Uh, the scale it up. All right. So we're going to start with a gold sixty one forty six processor. Okay, so back to your baseline configuration. Yeah, and in okay. this case, the baseline will be the sixty one forty six, which is a SATA based SSD, a uh, and a one gig network adapter. Okay. So the performance we get here, and you can see this is a pretty big jump. We went from 127,000 on the previous right. comparison on the V4. When you go to the gold, in a similar comparison, we're actually getting about 30% and maybe even more in terms of orders per minute. And we jumped from 6,000 email users to 7,000. 7, yep. But you can do those comparisons on your own. And please look at the tool and look at the different sweet spots right. there might be. Uh, it can really help you help your customer uh, get the get the most or unleash the performance right. of the of the Xeon platform. Okay, so uh, we're going to upgrade the processor. The first step we're going to do is upgrade the processor. Just the processor, okay? Just the processor. Got it. All right. So we upgraded to the eighty one sixty, and that's all we upgraded in this platform. Same SSD, same Ethernet. Yep. Just the CPU. Yep. Okay. How does performance look, Travis? Fairly flat. VM stayed about the same. 
a little worse on CPU utilization, but I guess that would be expected because I have a more powerful CPU. There's still bottleneck somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's a great word. That's a great word for it. We're we're basically throttling back the processor because it can do more, as we saw in the in the first example, but it can't do any more because it's it's bottlenecked or constrained by the network. You okay. know, a lot of people think that you know they upgrade their processor, that's all they need to do, right? So um, we're still not getting. We're only in this case, we're only getting thirty five percent of our Xeon processor. Of the Xeon processor performance. Right. Okay. So. Let's upgrade just the storage in this case. Just the storage, okay. Just the storage. So now we compare the performance now against the baseline, and you can see we're getting a little bit of a you got, jump. You got a little performance maybe maybe 5% improvement, maybe 6% improvement over the baseline. So we upgraded the processor, and we upgraded to an NVMe, NVMe SSD. Drive. Okay. So a lot of times I talk to customers, and they say, oh, I've upgraded to the new Xeon scalable platform, and I've upgraded my storage. To NVMe, I should be getting a lot more performance, but I'm not seeing it. You know, think of think about an SSD for a laptop, right? When when you get an SSD in a laptop, that that performance is is trapped there in the in the laptop, and that's a good thing, right? It's 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 giving you really good performance, boot time. It's okay. giving you really good access time. It's less moving parts. It saves you on power. Different dynamics when you are doing SSDs and servers, where you've got to get the data to and from that storage device. If you're not doing something more than one gig, you're constraining all the rest of the system. Okay. Right? And that's what we're seeing here in this, in this example. Right? We've still got a one gig network. We've got a very high performance NVMe drive. Very which high is really, performance CPU. Yeah, and you're trapping all that performance Performance. right there in that box. So really, it's a really big, expensive laptop <laughs> at this point. Right? So what, so what we happens? don't want that. So what, what happens if you if you upgrade the, the Ethernet. Right, so let's, let's do it step by step. Okay. okay. So we just upgraded the storage. Now let's upgrade the network. So, so we, you went back to the prior, okay. Yeah, so I've, I put my SATA SSD back in my server and I've upgraded my network in this example to a 10 slash 25 gig uh, XXV710 okay. network adapter. All right. And what do we see? You made a reasonable jump. Yeah, 22 we, virtual machines, 14 up to 22. Yep. So I've broken through the bottleneck of the network at one gig, right? So now I'm running at 25 or 10, and I'm able to get 22 virtual machines. My processor now is at 64% CPU utilization, right? Yeah. So for you know, in this example, upgrading just your networking would give you a pretty good boost. Yeah. But you can see our processors are still underutilized at 64%, right? So we shouldn't not, have shown me the punchline at the beginning. Now I'm waiting to get the real story. Right. So that's the whole point of showing you the punchline, <laughs> again, is so that you can see what the endpoint is. Um, you, you don't have to start there with your customers. Uh, but in this example, if you don't have a lot of time with your customer, it's a great way to, to jump to the right. end okay. that way. Uh, so we've upgraded the network. We've gotten a little bit of a boost. And I should just note, in terms of the interface, this green line here represents the current configuration. So whatever panel you're looking at in the demo is, is the performance that you're getting there. The, the black line is the, is the baseline. The baseline. The baseline, the green line is the Yeah. Middle. Okay. And you can see down here 22, virtu 22 machines, virtual machines versus 14 virtual machines. And about 64% right? utilization now. Yeah. So we, we've, upped, we've upped the utilization from 30 35-ish to 64 yep. percent, right? So we're getting more, right? Right. But as you know, there's still there's still more to go, right? Okay. So we're going to upgrade both the storage, both uh, I mean all three: the processor, the storage, and the network, right? So here we've got the 8160, which you know we've been looking at now. Yep. We've got the NVMe drive, okay. the P4600 series, and we've got a a, a 25 gig. 10 slash 25 gig, gig network adapter. And uh, what kind of results are we seeing here? 36 VMs and 93% CPU utilization. Yeah, so that's that's kind of where we jumped to at that's the beginning of this, to. right? So this is a great way for you to show your customers how to get the most out of their Xeon scalable using, using the rest of the rest of the components to really take down the bottlenecks and unleash the, the performance of what the CPU is supposed to be able to do for you. Yeah, exactly. So if we jump here to the comparison side by side, you can show your customers uh, this entire story laid out from left to right, the performance that they would expect in each one of these categories. 
Okay, so to wrap it up, we've shown you today how to use the Scale It Up tool, which is an effective way to unleash the power of the Xeon Scalable Processor Platform. We showed you upgrading the storage components and the performance gains that you can get there. We showed you the, the benefits of upgrading your network from 1 gig to 10 gig to 25 gig and the performance gains and where those bottlenecks might be for your customers. We feel that using this with your customers will really showcase the benefit of the Xeon Scalable platform. Keep in mind that the, the Scale It Up tool is also part of the Xeon Processor Advisor tool suite. So go there, uh, show your customers how, how to transition from the previous platform, the E5 and E7 V4, to the Intel Xeon Scalable silver, bronze, gold, and platinum processors. Um, thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining, Travis. Thanks for having me. You I'm going to go upgrade my system and unleash the power of the Xeon. I love it. All right. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.